Biology Hotline, how can I help you? I have a biology test in five minutes and I don't understand protein synthesis. No problem, let me take you through it. When the body needs to make a protein, it has to get the instructions on how to put one together from the DNA held in the cell nucleus. Normally DNA is tightly bound, but when the information is needed, it can unwind and present a gene. The gene encodes the protein information in a string of nucleotides. When the gene is expressed, it will have a promoter region that indicates the beginning of the gene and a terminator region that signals the end of the gene. The process to copy this information is called transcription. The information stored in a gene's DNA is used as a template and transferred to a similar molecule called RNA in the cell nucleus. The type of RNA that contains the information for making a protein is called messenger RNA because it carries the information or message from the DNA out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. This copy is made by an enzyme called RNA polymerase, which binds to the promoter site. The RNA polymerase moves across the DNA, unwinding it, and on one strand of DNA, a complementary strand is made from nucleotides available in the nucleus. Once the messenger RNA is complete, another process splices together exons that actually encode the protein and splice out introns that do not. The completed messenger RNA then leaves the nucleus through a nuclear pore and translation. The second step in getting from a gene to a protein takes place in the cytoplasm. The messenger RNA interacts with a specialized complex called a ribosome, which reads the sequence of messenger RNA bases. Each sequence of three bases is called a codon, which codes for an amino acid. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. The ribosome binds to the start codon. A type of RNA called transfer RNA also binds at this location with a complement of three nucleotides called an anticodon. The ribosome complex completes itself and is ready to assemble the protein, one amino acid at a time. The ribosome translation unit has three sites, E, P, and A. New transfer RNA occupy the A site. The amino acid in the P site is bonded to the A site amino acid with a peptide bond. As the ribosome moves across the messenger RNA, the empty transfer RNA will exit and pick up a new amino acid. The ribosome continues to move across the messenger RNA and add amino acids to the peptide chain until the ribosome encounters a stop codon, a sequence of three bases that do not code for an amino acid. You now have a peptide chain that can be folded into a usable protein. That's protein synthesis. Thank you for using the biology hotline. Thank you. I should do great on my test. <laughs>